So in CAD works, you can have advanced graphics where bolts look like bolts and nuts look like nuts and, and gaskets kind of look like gaskets. Uh, but sometimes they come out a little funny and I want to show you how to fix some of those. So some of you guys have been asking, how do you fix bolts? As you can see on my screen here, I have a set of flanges and it has uh, like cap screws on there with one bolt uh, on one side. Unfortunately, there's no way to fix this inside of CADWorks itself. You actually have to go into the spec editor. So remember, if you are not a CAD admin, I really advise you not to go into the the spec and the catalog because you got to do both probably um, to fix this issue. Get with your CAD administrator, you know, tell them this problem, show them this video, and then we, you can have a solution. So as you can see on my screen, you can see that we have a stud bolt with a integrated nut uh, on one side and a uh, extra nut on the other side and the studs coming out. So how you get to this, how you fix this, uh, is we're going to go into the spec editor. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can actually open up spec editor if you know where your specs are stored, uh, or you can go ahead and click on spec editor inside the spec view. So we're going to click on spec editor. Okay. And that's going to bring up the spec. Uh, do you want to, and it's going to ask you a couple questions. Do you want to update? Yes, we want to update. Um, cause we want the most up to date data from that spec or from that catalog. Sorry. Uh, we're using spec 100 or 150 here. Okay. And if we go down to gaskets, bolts, uh, and welds, you can see we have one set of nuts right here. Okay. And the data table that's pulling from is BLT 150. Uh, so if you click on this one, uh, you'll see over here in this screen, it'll populate. And so here's, here's our bolt. Uh, and it gives you a whole bunch of information. Now this is just viewing It's You can't edit it. Um, so what you do is you go to main size, you know, here's your main size you know, number of bolts in that set for what's the diameter, what's the length. Uh, and then you've got type and nut type. So basically, um, this is what's controlling that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this. Okay. This type, uh, it should be a type two and then the nut type should be two. Uh, there's some other information on here, uh, nut thickness, uh, your extension, um, your to total overall length. Um, if you have any washers, uh, you can put your washers in here. What's the thickness and how many there are. Um, so, but we got to edit this inside the catalog. Again, do not do this if you're not a CAD administrator, okay, uh, or you don't have permission to do. So to get into the spec, basically what you do uh, is right here, or this catalog, sorry, how to get in this catalog. You'll click this uh, tab right here, and you'll see right here, uh, open base catalog. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Okay, so that brings you into the catalog. Again, this is a very deep session here. Uh, so we're going to go to data type tables. Okay. We're going to go to bolts, gaskets, welds. Here's our bolts. We said we were working off of BLT underscore 150. That's the one we want. Okay. And you double click on that. Okay. So now we're going to change these to two. Okay. So type two and we're going to do a nut count of two. Okay. And then we're just going to copy this all the way down to all the sizes. Okay. We're going to click on that. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. 
Okay. Now, normally, depending on what you're doing, you can go ahead and exit out of this, but I want to keep this open for right now. Okay. Then you got to go in back into your, your spec. Okay. And when you do, it comes up with this, this, um, dialog box It's basically saying that the base catalog has been changed. Do you want to update it? And we want to hit yes. We want to update that. And I'll show you the reason why. Okay. So now we're going to, okay. It's going to close out the spec and then you got to open back up. Okay. So we're going to go to gaskets and bolts. Here's our bolt again. We're going to click on that guy right there. And you can see that our type two and nut is two. Okay. So we've changed that. So we're going to save this spec. Okay. Again, you got to save it. Okay. We're going to go back into our CAD works. Okay. And then we're going to refresh this thing. Okay. Reload it. Okay. Now we could blow these away. Okay. We could blow these, these bolts away and then replace them, but that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to do uh, convert from project data. Okay. And we're going to click on this guy. Okay. You can see that it kind of disappeared for a second or it's embedded into the well neck and you're going to hit enter again. Now you can see that we have two nuts on either side with a little lip over here. So if we had done type two with one nut, you would only send one nut on the one side. Um, so we did two. Um, I've never tested it. If you want a double nut, um, that's something you can play around with and try. But again, only get into the catalog and the spec if you're the CAD administrator or you have permission to go in there and do it. So I know I threw a lot of data at you going into the spec and going into the catalog, saving the catalog, saving the spec, and then coming back into the model and making the changes. Uh, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, this one came from some uh, viewers' comments. Uh, a lot of my videos lately have been due to comments, questions that have come up. And uh, I hope that will continue helping you out. Uh, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your CAD administrators. Because I have some videos coming up that are going to be very CAD admin heavy. Uh, on software and setup. Um, so please let everyone know. Uh, until next time.